When you have data in a list in Excel, you should turn that into a formatted Excel table, which adds some extra features. So if we have this list, we've got headings, and we've got rows of data. I can click in any cell in that list, go to the Insert tab, and in the Tables group, click Table. So there's the range for this data. I have headers, I'll click OK, and there's a table. So automatically it creates drop-down lists that let you sort and filter the data, and it expands automatically as you work. So it's a great feature, but when you use that Insert Table command, it uses the default table style, and it keeps any cell formatting that you had in the table. If you want to use a specific style, you could then go to the Design tab, click Quick Styles, and select a different style, and you could also clear out any formatting that you have. But it's quicker to do that when you're setting up the table. So here, I've selected a cell in the table, and on the Home tab, I'll click Format as Table, and then select the style that I want. So that cuts out a step right there. I'll click this style. It asks me to check the data range, and the table has headers. I'll click OK. So now it's created a table with the style that I wanted, so that took one step out of it. But it still kept all the cell formatting that I had in that list. So to go one step further, in your table, just select a cell on the Home tab, click Format as Table, and instead of just clicking on a style, right-click on one, and then you can apply and clear the formatting. So if I select this style now and confirm the data here, now it clears out that cell formatting. It keeps any number formatting that I have set up, but I just got all the formatting for that style, and it's removed all the cell formatting that I had in those cells. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.